if you are using artwork as a backdrop, you'll insert your artwork first by going to Insert Artwork and navigating to the location of your artwork. I've already inserted this artwork, which we're going to use as a backdrop in the next video to learn how to use the digitizing tools. But before we learn about the tools, I want to give you some guidelines for digitizing. It's always a good idea when you work with a piece of art in the background to do two things. First, lock the artwork. This is done with a right click and select lock. That way you cannot accidentally move the artwork when you're digitizing. Secondly, right click on show hoop and for the hoop position, place a dot in manual and go OK. This is going to leave your digitized stitches where you place them in the hoop rather than the stitches moving to the center of the hoop. And it's just easier to keep track of your design that way. Keep in mind these rules for digitizing and for using the tools. Left clicks are used for creating straight lines and for changing directions. Right clicks are used for curves. It takes three clicks before the shape of an object is going to start to form. When you are creating a closed object like you see here, not an open line, after clicking around the object and getting close to where you started, press enter to let the software close the shape. The software will always do a better job of closing the shape. You also don't want to use too many clicks because a smoother line is created with fewer clicks. You want to zoom in to the background because it's easier to be more accurate. However, don't get hung up on a click landing right on a line because you're not going to be stitching on top of the artwork if you're click is slightly off, it's okay. If you do make a mistake that you want to change, use the backspace key and that will erase the last digitized point. You can use the backstitch key multiple times. If you really make a mistake and want to start over, press escape and you're able to start over. Remember that you can always use reshape to change the shape of the digitized object. You have three things to decide when you digitize. The tool to use from the toolbox, the color of the object, and then the type of stitch. You can draw your shape first by selecting only the tool and then edit the color and the stitch after the object is created, or you can pre-select the color and the stitch and the tool.